Some say he's the Stig, but he isn't. He's the Stig's Chinese cousin. Now, I should explain, driving is his second favourite thing. What's his first favourite thing? Attacking people. That's, it is, he does it a lot. Just, it's constantly attacking. Why are you doing that? Why are you going to do some driving? Do some dri go, go, get into the trunk. Stop attacking us. Get in the car. No, he's got to get in the car. Get in the car. Trumpchi, trumpchi. Get in the trumpchi. No. No, no, that's the director. That is the director. What if I start the engine? Would, he, would that do it? Come on. Come on, in you go. They bow, they bow don't they? Go in. Get in. Oh, get yes. In. That's the worst stig we've ever had. He doesn't attack the throttle, though, does he? It's a good-looking car, though. It is a good-looking car. It's growing. It's got the boot shape of the Lancy uh, Gamma. Gamma, yeah. And it has an Alpha engine. Is it? Yeah, the twin spot. But it is called a Trumpchi. It is called a Trumpchi, but... <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <much> funny. <laughs> what are you driving these days, Jeremy? Well, no, it's interesting. Underneath, it's an Alpha. It's a Trumpchi, it isn't is. it? <laughs> Attack Stig is back, everybody. Watch out. And across the line. One minute 50, dead. We've got to get him out of that car oh, now. Oh, God. And into the roadway. Get him in the roadway as quickly as possible. Get him in the roadway. Calm, look. Oh, it's interesting. He's attacking the starter. I thought it was a racist thing. He just didn't like us. <laughs> He's coming towards us now. <clears throat> no. You were, you were good. 150, dead. Eventually, a tax stig was corralled into James's roadway. Mmm, that begins quickly. How many horsepower has it got? 107. It's a 1.5, isn't it? Well, how have they got so few horsepower? I don't up? know, actually. And I don't like to sound like you, but that's not enough power. Cos they called it Roadway, because Roadway... ..is how they would, say, how they Rover. would say Rover. Yeah. I, I thought know. they'd say Lover. The seconds ticked by, but there was no sign of my Roe. Where has he gone? I don't know. After we dragged a tax stig off the marshal... Across the line. ..we got a clean lap time for the Roadway. Victory by one tenth of a second. A fairly hollow victory, though, as we estimate that on the same track, a comparable European car would be 10 or 15 seconds faster. So, what about safety? Chinese crash tests are much the same as the ones we have in Europe, but the speeds are a bit lower. Any injuries? None at all. Nothing? Not a scratch. What about the car? No damage at all. Really? No. That's a pass. You ready? Having satisfied ourselves that these cars had been through all their crash tests, we were confident that we could take them onto the streets of Beijing. This might not be as nice to drive or as fast or as safe as a European car, but it offers everything the Chinese motorist would want. There's lots of space in the back, uh, a couple of nice gadgets, wooden trim, and enough headroom for anyone up to five foot three. 
The editor of a Chinese car magazine told me this morning that the Chinese like good equipment in cars, good gadgets. And this actually does quite well. It's got sat-nav, completely incomprehensible, of course, uh, reversing cameras, decent audio system, automatic air conditioning, audio controls on the steering wheel, digital dashboard. Pretty good. I'd like to say that this feels like an old Alfa Romeo, but it doesn't really, chiefly because of the automatic gearbox, which was made by a man who I think is a greengrocer. Certainly, he has no comprehension of what an automatic gearbox should do. Stop changing gear! Don't do that! It's all very well, Jeremy whining and shouting in his gearbox, but he should try this. This is a three-speed automatic with overdrive. I mean, it's quite smooth, actually, but as a concept, it's, well, just a tad old-fashioned. It is worth bearing in mind, though, that both these cars cost £12,000 and that in China, a base model Audi A3 is more than twice that. If you bear that price difference in mind and ignore the gearbox, it's really not too bad. Rides nicely. Most of the time. Uh... At this point, we ran out of things to say about our cars, so we met up for a discussion. So, James May, would you buy a Roadway 350 in Britain? No. No? No. Would you buy a Tramchi? Only if it was very cheap. But look at it this way. In just five years, China has gone from making that, whatever it is, to making these. Now, with that rate of progress, where are they going to be in five years' time? Well, that does take us back to our original question, actually. So, oh, in five years' time, everybody will be driving Chinese cars. Yes, we, we, we probably will. We, will. we yeah. are doomed. We are doomed. We've absolutely... It's... Is it... In the plums! Mg6B